Canberra Raiders legend Ken Nagus has been placed in charge of preparing the Indigenous Women's All-Stars for their historic battle with the Women's All-Stars at Allianz Stadium this Friday night. The side, which includes some of Australia's finest female rugby league talent, will play in the curtain raiser to the Trans-Tasman Test between the Holden Kangaroos and New Zealand Kiwis. It will be the first time an elite women's game has featured before a Kangaroos Test and World Cup winning Jillaroo Julie Young is filled with excitement. It's pretty amazing and I don't think it's sunk in for a lot of us girls yet. It probably won't until Friday night. Knowing that when we get there there's actually going to be people coming in to watch and you know it's it's pretty exciting. It's amazing that we've made that step to this, you know, this stage. The Maitland Pickers hooker is one of 18 that will run out on Friday night representing their Indigenous communities and heritage. Having played alongside most of her women's All-Stars opponents during the World Cup, Young's hoping to pick up some new skills from coach Negus to unleash on her now rivals. Looking forward to just um, his insight and his knowledge of the game. Anything new that he can give is always going to be a blessing, um, especially come Friday night. It's a fairly new look side to the one that played during the 2013 All-Stars campaign, but there's certainly no shortage of talent, some transcending generations. Candy Kennedy, daughter of former NRL player Bubba Kennedy, is the perfect example. My dad played for the Bowman Tigers um, in 1996. Uh, he, he was a, sing, a centre, he played in the centres. Um, yeah, me and dad and my brother, he also plays a bit of footy too, and um, yeah pretty much in the family. The young Bathurst-born winger has promised big things from her side and says the fans will be given a good show when the two sides kick off at 6pm. Uh, big hits and also a couple of tries for me, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Amy Lindsell, NRL.com.